Well, it's, it's great to be here at AAPS. I'm, I'm really glad I have the opportunity to get to the convention this year. Uh, I've been uh, working uh, in associations now for 23 years, kind of came to it. Uh, um, not expecting that I'd be a professional association manager. I got my undergraduate degree in civil engineering and practiced for six years and got my professional license and then followed that up with getting an MBA degree and I've been putting that all to good use in the association community. But when I first heard of the opportunity here, I said, wow, two great things to come here for. Uh, one is the impact that the organization has on the quality of life and the health of people. Uh, so that's amazingly impactful. And the other thing was I heard what a great uh, membership base uh, the organization had and what a real family and what passion the members bring to the organization uh, in trying to make those impacts and move, move pharmaceutical sciences forward. Any association really re relies on its membership. They're the owners, the customers, the workforce. Uh, so I really need to reach out and, and, and listen to what's important to the members, both our leaders, uh, but also uh, regular members who have ideas on where the organization should be going. So I really want to reach out to people, uh, be an accessible executive director, and uh, get as much input as possible on where they see the direction of the organization. Uh, you know, association management is a very diverse profession, which is a lot of fun, so I get to do many, many things every day. Uh, but the big focus is to work with our executive council and other leaders of the organization uh, to divide, define the vision and the mission of the organization, and then to make sure that we're putting uh, the resources uh, behind what those priorities are to achieve that vision and mission, uh, so that we're ensuring that we're delivering value to our members and having the impact on uh, the pharmaceutical sciences that we really want to have. It's a great time to become an AAPS. Uh, President Alice Till and the Executive Council are embarking on a strategic planning process right now, so I'm coming in at a super time to, uh, to get involved with that. And that's really going to focus on getting a lot of feedback from the membership and then trying to digest that as, long as, as, as well as looking at uh, larger societal uh, and industry, industry trends that are going on. Uh, to again make sure that our vision and mission is aligning with where the industry is going. Uh, I think there's two big things. One is uh, really uh, the larger societal trends of how people are participating in associations uh, and volunteering their time. The other one is industry trends and we've seen big changes in both those areas. Uh, certainly the explosion of the internet over the last 10 years has changed how people generate, share, and consume information. So uh, AAPS is not a, alone in being affected by that big change. Uh, so we need to be looking at new and innovative ways to deliver our, our content to our members. Uh, uh, things like the e-courses that we're involved in are, are excellent examples of moving in a new direction. Uh, and then from the industry side, uh, how is pharmaceutical science really being conducted? And we're not immune from the business pressures there. Uh, so there's both bigger and smaller pharma firms, uh, independent contract research. Our members are conducting their profession in all kinds of different ways that they weren't maybe 10 or 20 years ago. Much like uh, the association management job, I, I love to do a variety of things. Uh, so uh, Corinne, my wife and I are very active, love to get out uh, hiking, skiing. Uh, she's become a uh, kind of what those Tough Mudder race uh, runners, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, but also love cycling, love getting out on my Harley Davidson motorcycle, uh, so that's a big one too. Uh, so there's plenty of things to keep us busy. You know, two big issues, uh, you know, A, globalization, uh, the base of scientific information for pharmaceutical sciences and the technology that's used to support it is global in scale. Uh, so 
You know, our members need to have access to the best information no matter where it resides, whether it's here in North America, in Asia, South America. Uh, so AAPS needs to make, you know, a welcoming environment for people who want to contribute that knowledge from all over to be able to participate and then to share that with our members. Uh, and on the technology side, uh, you know, for so many years we've been so used to writing a paper, coming to a conference, uh, the internet, the explosion of apps, uh, you know, younger people are sharing information in smaller bites. They're using Twitter, LinkedIn, all kinds of different new technologies to share information. And the organization needs to take advantage of those tools. A, they help lower the cost and allow us to deliver more benefit uh, to our members, uh, but it also helps speed up the transfer of information and that's something critical to our mission. So AAPS is a member-driven organization, and, and that's uh, as a professional organization, I think that's essential. Uh, so, you know, where we go as an organization in the future is really based on our members' ideas today. Uh, so I really uh, ask all the members to feel the ownership that they have in this organization and to be willing to share their ideas uh, with the executive council, uh, with section chairs, with focus group chairs, with staff and with myself. So as you see information coming out about strategic planning this year, please respond to it and then also feel free to send your ideas at any other time. Uh, because when everybody's working together as a team and an organization, uh, there's really no uh, limit to the impact that AAPS can have.